An Indianapolis charter school will close next month after an investigation found widespread cheating on standardized tests over the last few years. The mayor's office launched an investigation after I-STEP Plus test results showed extraordinarily high gains at the Flanner House Elementary School. Our education reporter Rich Van Wyk has a look at lessons learned and what happens now. Rich? John, if the school's board of directors hadn't decided to shut the school down on their own, Mayor Greg Ballard says he probably would have pulled the school's charter and closed it himself. The closing and revelations of cheating blindsided parents. Felt let down. Um, I, just, I still am in shock. I don't know how to feel. These are parents who left traditional public schools with the expectation a charter school would do a better job of educating their children. That's what Brittany Thompson believed. You say it's a good school. Well, it was. I'm going to take it was a good school. At least I thought it was, but obviously it's not. On paper, Flanner House Elementary looked like a great school, one of the state's best. In 2013, students passing their I-STEP exams jumped from 56% to 95% an incredible improvement. It caught the attention of the Mayor's Office for Education. And our team saw this pattern very, very fast. An investigation by Indiana's Department of Education took more than a year. It uncovered numerous discrepancies. Among them, an unusually large number of wrong answers erased and corrected. Adult handwriting on exams where students should have written answers. And test questions given to students before they took the exams. School administrators had no other explanation for the dramatic improvement in student achievement. When academic fraud is involved, it's, it cuts you pretty deep. It's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad for students and their parents. They have less than three weeks to transfer their records and enroll in new schools. Well, I had the whole year planned to where everything would be fine, and now for this, this changes a lot. According to its mission statement, the goal of Flanner House Elementary is to develop the highest potential of its students. No one expected its teachers would cheat to get their students some of the highest I-STEP scores in the state. School administrators are not commenting, not answering our telephone calls. They're meeting with parents this afternoon. Parents are leaving angry, saying they're not getting much information. The mayor is forwarding the investigative information onto the Marion County prosecutor. The state could take licensing action against teachers and administrators, but as one spokesman said, it's one thing showing what happened. It's quite another finding the people responsible for it. The city says it will work with the parents of 176 children trying to find them new schools by September 11th. Reporting live, Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.